up here. Give me two seconds. All right. All right, I think we're good. I have to get going because I um, started this at 10, but we have been going at the hour mark lately and um, I have to go get my kid from preschool. So we're gonna hop right on into this. We are on to day nine of 30 Days of Sketches, series 12. And day nine was, oh, I already messed up. Everyone take a drink. Um, day nine was created by the lovely Jessica, um, Jessica F Hill. And I love this sketch. It was one of my favorites that I've worked with so far. Um, it just gives you the opportunity to play and do lots of fun things with it. So let's hop right on in. We have Brandy Joe, who, sorry guys, I'm just trying to make sure it's all in there. I think that's good. Uh, no, we're good. Um, Brandy Joe, she used chipboard from the bingo board, but I love how she's turned it into a little farm themed layout. She's got the little barn and the horse. So cute. She got her three photos. She did some stitching. It's all very, very cute. I love it. Rosalind did, oh, I love this big fo um, photo corner here. So she's got a cluster of her three photos, the space. So she's kind of rotated it. Some dinosaurs going on there. Just a really fun boy layout with some distressed paper. Really fun. And she used stickers from the bingo board. have Carrie and Carrie um, she altered the sketch from floral to make it more a masculine page and incorporated a few stars from the bingo card which you can absolutely see here so I love these cute little photos I love how she has this kind of mixed media or whatever it is right there it gives off a um, like driving vibe like road vibe very very cute Diane she did two layouts of this one so this is her first take very much followed it very closely she put in little hand stitched X's which are really cute so some um, faux stitching love that and then this is her second page from it as well. So she did a two page spread, which is really cute. Oh, look at that photo. Mm -mm. Hi Eve, hi Deb. I didn't see your guys' comments, but I, I do see that you're here. Da, da, da. Susan. Ooh, that's fun. So she has, whoops. Oh, Christy, what did you do? Ah! At least I didn't mess that one up too bad. She has done some really fun. So she got this extra paper right here, layered in with these cute little out, like window outfits there, um, hats and gowns. And she's really followed the sketch very closely. She just kind of took out the stitching element. But I think it's really cute. Christine documenting her house that's a great thing to be documenting I'm not sure if she moving in moving out it says welcome so I'm assuming probably moving in um, but that's a really great way to document your house and then she does have her little faux stitching in white very cool oh this silly Eve, oh, this is fun. Um, mixed media, distress edges, flare, 
pre-made title and rainbow. I love it. How cute is that? Aww. I see the inspiration. I love this mixed media. Very, very, very cool. I love the little enamel dots. Oh, this whole thing is just super cool. I love your take on this. It's just so different. Gloria. Documenting cobbler. So she just followed this super closely. This is a beautiful, um, this is from a powder paper she fussy cut out. And then she did massive X's and they're so cool. I love that. And then she used, and I think she used three photos. I think those are two separate photos and then the one large one with the journaling. So she just really followed the sketch closely. I love the large X's though. I think that looks really cool. Kathy, masculine. So, you know, golf cart fun. Just really the double, like the border. You can see her little X's in the corners here and here. Do you see that little feature? Love that. Joyce, ooh, Joyce added extra photos. So she's got four photos going on. Um, she used um, a double border, multiple photos, stickers, fussy cutting, a partial pre-made title, stars, and enamel dots. I really love this. This cluster, the photo corner clusters, I just, I think it's so pretty. That's one thing I really loved about the sketch was the opportunity to play with floral. Sandy. Aw, back to school. That's so cute. Oh, it's the last day of school. How cute is that? And then X is all the way around except for the little bus there. That's so cute. Melody, this is cool. Look at how simplistic she made this, but it's just so pretty. I love that. So she's got the florals. I'm not sure if those are like stickers on the pattern paper. I'm not sure. And then she just has her little cluster right here, but it's so soft, so simplistic, and so, so pretty. I really like that take. Cheryl following it really closely. Look at the little kitty. So cute. I'm not sure if she drew those X's, how she got those on, but it's very cool. I love that background paper she, she, she used too. And she did florals from the bingo. I really like the sketch too. It was, it's definitely one of my favorites so far. <clears throat> They're all so good though. So that's hard to say. <laughs> Deb, ooh, Deb did those little um, brads instead of X's, which is really cool. She's using up some fun elements from MK Shop, which is some assemblage required, and just a one photo there, but this is just really cool, and it's documenting a train, so that's just the perfect, perfect elements for that. I love that you used up those brads. That is just so smart. <laughs> Ginger, oh, look at that face. <laughs> this is very cute. Um, So she has got going on here. So she's got the idea of the photos. Those are in there. Um, and then she's got hexagons kind of around. So she almost took out the outside and just left the inside placement with the sketch. But it's just really cute. I love the element of the, the honeycomb and the bees there. Shannon, floral, she took on the floral, she centralized the florals, which is fun. Two photos, the idea of the journaling there though, and she almost used like this area where she's put her, her birthday and the little um, birthday girl there as that third photo element, which is really cool. That's a neat take. Here's Lisa's take. I love this little upper piece here. 
She has the little areas here, just didn't do like the outline of an X or anything in the background. Pretty kitty. Kim. So cute. So Kim did some hand drawn black border there to kind of mimic from the sketch. Took out the floral elements on the side, but you can still see she's got the idea of where the photo clusters are there and her title here where the journaling was in the sketch. And the title. So she put the title where it says title. Here's Tara's take. Ooh, I like the use of the leaf instead of the X's. That's cute. She just really followed the sketch very closely. But that's so cute. Look at the puppy. Why is why why do you do that to me? Ellen? Oh, this is cute. So X is all the way around, but then the floral elements are by the photos. Really pretty digital layout there. Here's Pamela's take. I love these little like beach themed almost. It's, it's, are those horses on the sand? Oh, that would be so cool. Oh, I'm jealous. That would be amazing. And she does have stitching. It's really light. I'm not sure how well it's showing up, but she has stitching on the outside too. So she's followed the sketch very closely. Here's Jackie's take. Again, the sketch was so well done. It's just, I think a lot of us followed it pretty closely. So another example. I love how she actually used sunflowers in her photos because she saw the sunflowers in the sketch. I saw a few of that, um, the sunflowers being the theme. Here's Louise. Oh, look how soft and pretty that is. And she has little white X's around, which just helps kind of bring in that subtle look. This is a gorgeous wedding layout. So pretty. Um, this was one of her favorite sketches, and she had to scrap another of her son and daughter-in-law's wedding. Ooh, look at the fun take. Okay, this is really fun. I love the interpretation here. She has the axes, but in different areas. She used it as mixed media. She's got the photos like it is in the sketch and then this really nice sharp blue line. She almost has a double border going on. I think it might be one piece of pattern paper with this strip here and possibly question mark digital, but I love that. It's really fun and playful and a great way to like, incorporate some of the pieces of the sketch, but making it her own. Mona with a fun summer layout. She stamped the I Love Summer, I think, would be my assumption there. All these awesome little summer-themed embellishments on the sides. That is so cute. She's got waves going on there. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. I love that layout. Here's Cindy. Very, very pretty. So completely different vibe going on, right? From the one we just saw from Mona, but I love it. So she's documenting, I think a wine, a winery, a wine fields. What do you call those? Is it wine fields? Cause they're grape fields. Huh? I've never thought of that before. Anyways, she's at a winery. It's gorgeous. It's very, very pretty. I love her take. I like this added detail right down in the middle there. Very cute. Vineyard. Thank you. Oh my God. Yeah, that's, that is what it's called. <laughs> oh, I can't even say it. It's because I'm tired because I just, it wasn't coming to me at all. So thank you. Oh, <laughs> Carolyn, can you tell I don't go to, to wineries and vineyards? Like that's not, I like to drink wine, but I don't do that. So <laughs> Um, Carolyn did multiple photo, wood veneer, a free space, pre-made title, foam and puffy, and it's Christmas. 
<laughs> Eve, we'd be lost without you. Um, I love this. This is so fun. The presents in place of where the florals are. She's got the X's going on. Oh, it's so cute. I want to go back and scrapbook this as a Christmas theme now. That's such a great idea. Here's Sherry's take. Use the cute little flowers there. I love how she's got, she does have X's. I, I think it's harder, it's harder for me to see them on my screen than it actually, I think you guys see it quite clearly on the camera, but on your videos, but she does have her X's going on. So she followed the sketch very closely, but I love this added circular element she's got going on. Very cute. Emily's tank, bright and bold, super fun. Love that. She has a process video if you're interested in checking it out. I'm trying to fly through these so I don't uh, have to get cut off on you guys. Um, this is really fun. This is Terry's take going ahead and doing a cheerleader one. She used these really fun embellishments. So she's got the two main kind of photo corners that the florals brought. It's very cool. Very playful. And Jennifer Kane. So she did a two page, eight and a half by 11. This is really cute. Oh my goodness. The sunflowers inspired her. I could see that. So she, you know, like she's got the idea of where the photos are, but she saw the sunflowers and just kind of ran with it and made it her own, but it's just so pretty. I love that. I love that that's the element that inspired her more than like the sketch design itself. The idea of the sunflowers is what inspired her. This one is using an Echo Park. It's springtime and I love cute little photo. She kind of rotated it, right? The photos are on this side with the title on there, but she's got the photo clusters going, photo, <laughs> floral clusters going on and the idea of having that second border there. Cindy, Cindy has been, I think it was Cindy that's been working with this collection. It is the Boho Baby Collection from Simple Stories. It's like one of my favorite collections and I've loved watching all of these layouts that she's got going on. She did some stamping as the square element going on there and the moons in place of the florals. Super cute. Anja. Oh, the stamping of the footprints. That's so cute, the paw prints. I love that. How cute are those photos? Oh, that's so precious. And it's monochromatic. That is in the bingo board. Here's another Christmas layout. I'm, I'm gonna have to redo this one and use a Christmas theme to it. I love this. So pretty. I love how she's used this, um, I don't know, ribbon. I can't think of what you call that either right now. I'm gonna try and stop naming things because I'm failing at that. Here is Sue's take. That's such a fun, I wonder if she stamped that or if that's a pattern paper because that's just so pretty. She's got her X's going on, a cute little puppy. It's adorable. Scrap and Patty. Oh, it's a baby. Oh, that's so precious. This is also um, some, I think this is Simple Stories too. Or is it, ah, I don't know what, I, sorry. I don't know what collection that is, but it's really, really cute. I love the, the mixed media in the background going on. Um, yeah, it's super cute. She says, here's my TMI, but miracle. <laughs> so cute. I love that. Thank you for sharing. Um, I hope you don't mind that I put that up up close for other people to see because that layout was so pretty and great photos. Whoever took those photos, good on them. Um, her 
adaptation of the sketch. It's a um, it's a companion page for a layout that she did from day five. This is Nancy's take. I love her stitching. She's got some torn edges going on and just some really cute, cute photos. I absolutely see the sketch in here. It's it's beautiful. I love that background. That teal background is really pretty. We have Dana's. Oh, so cute. Following the sketch pretty closely. I love her super neat little X's. I'm curious if that's stamping. I haven't seen the process video. And the flowers. I love how she used a striped pattern paper in the background there. That's awesome. Here is Kristen's take. I think this is also some MK goodies from some assemblage required. It's Bumblebee, that's super, oh, and look at the shaker pocket. Oh my goodness, I love this. This is really cool. I love how she got that fun background paper used up and the yellow on top of it. It absolutely gives off the vibe of the Bumblebee that she's documenting. Super cute, my kids would have been in heaven if they could meet Bumblebee while well, my oldest for sure. It's a good video to watch. Okay, I yeah, I know I, I need to catch up. I will watch it. Um here is Kim take this is so pretty. I love how she went ahead and did sequins in place of where the X's are. She's got two cute little photos. Um, it's Easter layout, so soft and pretty. What a great take on the sketch. Oh, I love that. That may be my scrap lift of the day. Very, very pretty. Here's Anne's take. Again, just, it's a, it's a great sketch. She's followed it and it's gorgeous. I love how she got buttons used in the middle of her flowers there. Lori, oh, I love how there's such a diagonal look to this one. Um, cute little photos. And then XOs in place of just the Xs. I wonder if that's on the paper. And some mixed media. Oh, that's so cute. I like that one. Sarah, very pretty. So she's got leaves going on here, documenting a memory of the house again. I feel like she has a series of this going on. Um, and she's using the 49th and Market Spectrum Sherbert collection. That's very pretty. It's such a Sarah layout. <laughs> Brina, thank you for covering up the photo. You don't want shared online sunflowers all the way around. She's in a sunflower field. I mean, come on, that's amazing. I love this mixed media in the background. I love how there's just one photo instead of three. Very cool. And these, the title is matching that gorgeous dress. Very pretty. Mallory, oh, this is cute again. The simplisticness of this, uh, just even going back to um, Reina's uh, that had a little bit more to it. And then this one is just so like a breath of fresh air, right? There's just a completely different vibe and they're both so gorgeous, but you can do so many different things with sketches. That's why I love them. I love this. I don't know if she fussy cut those out, but it's just so pretty. And what a sweet little photo. I love that. Here's Janet's take. Fun little clusters going on here. So she just did pattern papers in place of the florals there. And then it's a fall layout. So she's got leaves going on, mixed media, all the good things. I can't wait to watch that process video as well. That one's super inspiring. That will be going into my scrap lift pile too. Amanda. Ooh. 
Amanda tore her edges, so she's got a double border going on. These awesome, super large florals. And her um, torn edges kind of replace the X's, or the stitches, whatever you want to call them. That's really cool. And this little, um, I'm not sure what that is, but it really gives off that nice diagonal feel as well. That's really fun. I like that one. This was my take. I used some Maggie Holmes stuff, a bunch of layering. I just did one photo as well. Um, a cut file. I was using up some of the bingo board for this one. I did some hand stitching with the X's. And then um, I was highlighting some of Shadney's wood veneer. So Shadney's Etsy shop. You should definitely go check it out if you have not because her stuff is amazing. Um, and I did a fall themed as well. Here's April Lynn, eight and a half by 11. She did, oh, this is just so cool. So she took on the idea. I mean, you see it, you can see the clusters of the flowers here and then her photos and the middle cluster. So I completely see the sketch and how she's been able to incorporate it into her eight and a half by 11 style. I always love to see what she does with her layouts into the sketches because she is an eight and a half by 11. Um, scrapbooker so she's fun to watch and thank you yeah I was happy with that layout it was very very happy with how it turned out I followed her sketch pretty closely it was just so pretty uh Ruth Ooh. oh she stretched it out she did a two-pager and it's we did a lot of fall Halloween-y themed for this for this one <laughs> is it the sunflowers that made us think that I'm not sure I love this. She's got the clusters, right? The pumpkins. She has the photo up here and then she's done little stitch lines around it. It's so cute. I love how she stretched this out. Very fun. Little Lily. Oh, just followed it like exactly. And this is gorgeous. So she is saying um, she'll make her title when she puts her photos. So many fun new things to do. I had to improvise with the, the flowers. Thanks again for the sketches. Yeah, this is beautiful. I love that. Here's Helen's take. That's cool. Um, I'm assuming this might be like a pre-mixed media background from Coco Vanilla Studio, but then she's got her little floral clusters going on and three photos and the title. Very cute. So pretty. You didn't, you don't have to make the sketch complicated. I know it could look a little complicated, but you can make it simplistic. And I think that these, these layouts have shown you that. Here's Holly's take. She got an extra photo in there. I love this extra layering going on. And then what I'm assuming is a um, pre-mixed media background from 49th and Market, I'd assume, but I have no idea. I could be wrong. MK's take. Oh, she kind of did the same thing as um, Janet with the idea of having the clusters be paper and embellishments versus flowers. Got her three photos and title going on there. Look at all that mixed media. I love it. That's so cool. Again, most of these, the last few ones that I've shown you have process videos if you have not seen them yet. Michelle. Ooh. So that is, um, is that a Paige Evans? I'm not sure where that pattern paper is, but that is so cool. I love how she has the X's going down literally the middle of that. That's so cool. We shop hard and documenting shopping, which is fun. That's a great thing to be documenting. I love that. That is fun and playful and just a different take. I mean, it's the sketch, but the pattern paper background that she chose just gives it a completely different look.
Roxanne. Oh, it's so cute. Birthday, we've had a few birthday celebrations in here. I love how she has the sunflowers, cupcakes. That's so cute. She's like, I went literal and I copied the sketch, but it's so great. Here's Lynn's take. Again, kind of flipping it a bit because the title's over on this side, um, just the photo placements. And then the beautiful florals there and a lovely background. We have Kristen. Ooh, that mixed media is so cool. Traced outline there. Very cool. I love these little photos. Sorry, I was trying to figure out where the photos are from, but um, I love this. So the documenting being some, some sort of old timey wild west town, but that's just really, really cool. There's an idea of, a, you know, maybe a little bit more of a simplistic layout, but that mixed media just makes it all pop. Joanna, Annie, and I've been saying Joy Anna, and I think it's Joy Annie. Wow, Christy, you need to read better. Um, uh, thank you for covering up your photos that you don't want shared. It's a birthday themed. Oh, that's cool. So we've seen a few birthday layouts, but I love how she's got all these fun little bits and pieces here. And then some mixed media and then the cute photos that would be there with the title area. That's cool. I love that. We have Laura. She's used a cut file in the background there. And again, just highlighting a really fun diagonal, kind of taking out the X's. However, she has stitched on the outside, but she's got little X's spread throughout. So you see the little nod to it. And of course, she's using some gorgeous Vicky Booten collection there. I see another two pager. Holly's done a two-page layout. That is so fun. <laughs> Her comment is, somehow the first page was based off this light, the sketch. <laughs> I see it. I get where you were going with it. You've got your cluster here. and I absolutely see where you were starting off with, Holly. I think this is fabulous. We have Jamie. Oh, look at those cute photos. Um, I love the zigzag going on with that. And the little floral cluster is just really following the sketch so closely. And that was for her 8x8 album that she's been working on. Here's Kaylin. Thank you for blurring the photos. Another birthday layout. I love how she has strips of pattern paper instead of the stitching, that's a great option if you're not into stitching. Flowers, super fun background. Mixed media. Holly, oh, she used hearts, that's cute. Double border, this one was hard. Um, she's like, this one was hard for me, don't know why, it just was. It's okay. Some sketches are harder to do than others. I think you did amazing though. I love this background paper that you use right before your photos. I think it really actually helps your photos pop out. And you've got double layers going on. The hearts are super cute. I see it, the inspiration in it. I think your layout's lovely. So I get it though. Some lay some sketches you look at them you're like this is gonna be a piece of cake or I really love this one and somehow they're just super complicated and frustrating for you in that moment um I get it I've been there been there done that I understand I think your layout is gorgeous though so 
I hope you do like your end results because it's very pretty. Here's Helen's take. I love how she just has this subtle little um, mix. I don't even know what that is. Lines or stitching or whatever it is up there with her clusters. And then some tags and her title. Very pretty. I love a good um, <sighs> vacation trip place. I can't think of the word. Here is Lisa's. Oh, that's so fun. Look at that big rainbow going on. Fun playhouse. That's just so fun and playful. A perfect kid layout. I love that you got the rainbows on there. Very cute. Here's Simone's take. Digital. I love this little feature. She does have that kind of stitching look going on. A ride. Where is this Wild West amusement things? I need to find Wild West Falls. That place looks really cool. She's documented it a couple times. We have Natalie. Oh, cute little photos. She stretched it out there with those little um, rose or tulip. I can't quite tell what they are. Flowers and vines there. That's a cute little card. She put journaling in there if she wanted to. So cute. She did, uh, so Tina did some mixed media in the background for this one. I'm loving all of this documenting. Moving, I think. Or maybe just what she can fit into the back of her car. It's very cool. I love how she did this this mixed media in place of the stitching there on the outside. Here's Ashley's take. She's still working on her wedding and this is gorgeous. Did the stitching. Very cool clusters here. So pretty. Um, she will have a process video if you're interested in seeing how she put that together. I see another two pager and the sunflowers. So fun. I love this. So she's got her clusters. She used um, a cut file or a like a border stencil type thing on the outside, which is really cute. And then the theme of the sunflowers because we see it in the sketch, which I love. And you guys, that's it. We made it. I'm sorry I had to fly through this one a little bit quicker than normal. I didn't get to spend as much time on each layout. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this one. Definitely one of my favorites um, of the month. I really loved the sketch. And I am going back and doing a Christmas version of that. Thank you for the inspiration there. <laughs> Deb is going to be gone Thursday, Friday. Deb, we're going to miss you. I um, am just going to give you guys, let me see. Tomorrow, I, I'll i be here tomorrow. And I will be here Thursday. But Thursday is the very last day that Barrett has preschool. So after Thursday, every video I record, well, Barrett can possibly come in and say hi. So just a warning for those that get annoyed. Um, just letting you know. And Friday is an iffy if I'll be able to be on or not. So I'll talk about that on Thursday, but I will definitely be back tomorrow. I will have my my personal day 16 um, is going up tomorrow. I finished that this morning. So that will be up tomorrow. And I'm going to go start working on, um, oh, day 15. I'm going to start go start working on, my, on day 16. I'm a little behind, but it's all good. We're getting there. And these sketches are so much fun. I love them. You guys, they're amazing. These sketches are just gorgeous. I hope you're having fun. We've got some double pages coming up. Lots of fun. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. And I will see you guys all again tomorrow. Thanks for spending some time with me. Bye, everyone.